Welcome, in front of me is a ZTE Blade A55 and today I will show you how you can go through the setup process of this device. So, when you boot it up for the very first time, you should be presented with the same screen that you can see on my end and right over here you can tap on this area and find your desired language. Now for me it already selected English, which is the language that I want to use, but you can obviously select any kind of other language from the uh, vast list of languages. From there, click on start. And you can now insert your SIM card. Now this step is completely optional and you don't need to do this if you don't want to. So in this case, you just select skip. Next, we will have the connect to Wi-Fi page. Again, this step is also optional and you can set it up offline if you don't want to, but by doing so, you can see that we don't have any kind of network connection, so we won't have the Google login page show up. We won't be able to restore apps and data, get software updates, and automatically set date and time. This is all only throughout the setup process. Afterwards, once the setup is completed and you, for instance, connect to network or insert a SIM card and connect to a mobile network, uh, then you can obviously change all of that without any kind of problem, so you don't need to worry about this if right now you don't have access to any kind of network. So because I don't have any network connection, it tells me that I can set up my date and time right now if it's incorrect, but it's looking pretty correct. So I'm just gonna go to the next page. Next, uh, we have Google services like location, scanning, and sending user and diagnostic data. And you can turn all of those off if you don't want any, uh, but it's Google, so. I doubt these do anything, so I'm just gonna ignore them and go to the next page. Next we have um, Welcome to Daily Wallpaper. This is just some kind of like random uh, wallpapers that the device just picks or has like a catalog of, and this will show up on your home, uh, on your lock screen more like, and they will just cycle through daily. If you don't like randomness, you might probably not like this. I personally don't, so I'm just gonna not be enabling this and going to the next page, but it's completely up to you. Next, we have privacy policy. Uh, just select agree. It's not like you have any option. Uh, parental control, again, no option here to so agree. Uh, device security. Now here we have a couple options uh, to just protect our device. We have face recognition, fingerprint, and then pin pattern or password that is located under the password. Now, if you're planning to use any of the biometrics, which are the face recognition and fingerprint, you will always be required to select pin pattern or password. And the reason for that is biometric security isn't 100% reliable, so the times where it just fails to recognize your finger or your face or both, you can unlock your device using pin pattern and password, which obviously isn't prone to failure for no reason. So, uh, additionally, you don't need to protect your device at all if you don't want to, though I wouldn't recommend it, but that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, next, we have system navigation, and we have two different methods of navigating to the device, gesture and button. So, I'll be using gestures which are selected by default, but you can choose buttons if you so choose to. Next, I believe this is right about almost the end of the setup, and uh, yep, I think it is. So, let's click on get started, and, and there we go. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.